What is going on everybody? Welcome to another map plot lib slash base map slash geographical plotting within Python. Where we left off, we were plotting some dots on this uh, blue United States here. We got Houston and Boulder going on. Red, Houston, green, Boulder, cool stuff. So anyway, where what I was talking about last time was, you know, what if you want to customize the plot itself a little bit? Well, there's a, a few things that you can do right out of the gate. One, you can change the size. So we can do like marker size equals 20 for this one. And then let's make um, this one's marker. I uh, can't do anything. We can do marker size equals 15. Okay, so we can save that. We can run that. And now you can see that you got a big Houston dot and pretty big boulder, but not as big as the Houston dot. That's cool. But let's do, um, let's take this just as a really quick example and then do like. 28. I assume those will run over each other, so let's run this real quick. Yeah. And what if this one is a green, actually? And we'll plot that. So what shows up here is just whoever got plotted last, right? So that's maybe not necessarily what you want, right? Because you could have, in theory, dots run over each other, and you would lose some, some of your data, possibly, if that was an issue. But again, the size of the dot, obviously, it's not changing. So, like when we zoom in to just that spot, that's not a problem anymore, right? But let's say it is, it's becoming an issue for you, or you do want them to run over a little bit. Like, if you let them run over a little bit, it kind of helps the transition of color. So, uh, for example, what we can do is throw in an alpha here, which kind of makes things see through. So, we can say alpha 0.5, and then we'll just apply this. Uh, to both to all of these actually. Okay. So now we'll run that. And maybe it was a, too much of an alpha, but you get the idea. Now they're actually kind of clear. So when they do overlap each other, it's not such a big deal. So finally, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is, you know, how you would actually expand this cuz you always want to be able to expand. You could instead have um, lat equal an array lawn equal an array and or actually in python these are actually lists but anyway you can do that and actually well here's what we'll do we'll get rid of this 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 and we'll do that and then like lat two lawn two equals and actually, yeah, we'll just get rid of these brackets. There's not really too much need for them. So now we're going to make this list too long. So instead, what we could say is lat is like uh, 30, 31, 34, 33, 30, 32, something like that. This one, longitude, sorry for the Skype messages. 30, where was I? 90, let's see, negative uh, 103, negative... 110, negative 107, negative, oops, that wasn't a negative. negative 111 and negative uh, 115. Okay. Now then we're going to do basically the same thing here. I'm just going to copy and paste these variables, switch them up. We'll make these all, I don't know, a couple of these 40. This one's a 33. This one's going to be a 31. This one will be a 30. This one will be a 113, a 100 here, 102 here, and a 112 there. Okay. Now uh, we'll do lat long, that's fine. And then this will be uh, two and two. Should work. Just so you can kind of uh, get an idea how you would build like an array. And then you could plot that stuff up like that, right? Um, just to kind of give you an idea, you could build arrays basically and have different varied data. You know, you've got green data and red data, so to speak. So you could apply like, you know, employee versus unemployed. You could apply um, wages. You could plot all kinds of stuff. Or you could plot sentiment. That's a great idea. Anyway, 
that's going to conclude my basic geo plotting tutorials. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and uh, have some cool uses for that. Uh, if you do happen to you know make something cool, uh, link me there. I wouldn't mind seeing what you guys make with these uh, geo plotting tutorials. If there's something else you guys would like to see, uh, feel free to let me know. Sometimes I'm able to just kind of add on to these series. So if there's something that you request and I can do it pretty quickly or easily or whatever, I'll just do it. And in some cases, I might have left something out. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and subscriptions. And until next time.